We have common challenges with our partners, uh, being it security, being it the protection of basic rights and principles, being it migration, and this is uh, dramatically evident also today with the news coming from the Mediterranean again, being it energy, being it the promotion of human rights and democracy, being it the economic development, trade. There are many uh, very good reasons uh, why we should maintain close relations with our neighbors, uh, from energy security to migration, from trade to terrorism. We need to work together on the really big challenges uh, we all face. So what is the objective? Uh, we want to be a key partner for the countries on our doorstep while respecting their rights uh, to choose their own way forward. The new ENP must reflect the views and experience of our partners. It must not uh, be condescending, patronizing or even preaching. We must ensure that we de develop a real partnership of equals on the basis of shared interests, while always promoting universal principles. Trade and mobility have been the traditional focus points. I want us to put a new emphasis on some that have uh, not fully used up to now. It's about energy, both our energy security <clears throat> and that of our partners and threats to security from organized crime to the so-called frozen conflicts. The door of European cooperation is always open, also for Russia. Uh, the principle is that uh, you have to show respect for international laws and international principles to be perceived as a key international and regional player uh, that respects uh, the basic uh, rules of international living together and our common security architecture, which is not uh, uh, the case after the annexation of Crimea for sure. But we hope that Russia will go back uh, to a responsible behavior uh, starting from uh, the implementation of the Minsk Agreement. The meaning of, uh, of what we're launching today is exactly a dialogue, an exercise of comparing what works, what doesn't work, what needs to be improved, where we have the common interest and the common ground for action, where uh, this common ground is more difficult, and where it is more difficult, but still it's a political priority for us to, um, to work on, uh, on certain, certain issues together, how we can better do it, uh, being respectful, first of all, of the principles, secondly, of the interest, and also of the different uh, starting point we have uh, in uh, evaluating things.